Hello there. Once again, it's Anton from Anton Bay. Thank you guys for stopping by the collection room today. Um, we're taking a look. I, I did another Archie haul here. And what I ended up getting is a big stack of these guys. Now, I had done a haul of these recently that I picked up. And I thought I was buying the same thing, but I, I was not. Um, these are the digests. These are the ones that I want. Um, what I had gotten before were what's called the Archie Library. Uh, way, way different, more updated, more modern, and I believe altered. Um, it looks like they've gone back through old Archie comics and just added more diverse cast and a lot of blue hairdos in them. And I'm not even kidding. A lot of, a lot of purple hair and stuff like that that they just added. However, these are the old Archie Digest. You used to see these in your in your grocery stores like this. Cover price $2.25. These are the ones you want. Um, and I got this huge set of them. So I'm not going to go through like flipping through every one of them. But you can kind of see um, the artwork is the original artwork. It doesn't look like they've changed anything. You're getting the older stories, which the other, the more modern ones just seem to... Uh, completely skip over so like Betty with or uh Veronica with her really tight bangs and stuff like that and Betty with bangs um something that that was more more common in the 50s yeah they don't they don't touch any of those and these they got some of the originals so what you're looking for of course is the older it gets the better um I was gonna look for an example yeah, I mean, that's that's some older stuff. This is probably early 60s. Just looking at her hair, that would be my assumption. So when you get reprinted stories where Betty looks like that, that that's good, Archie. That's the stuff I love the most. Um, yeah, that's what I want. So anyway, about the only way I can get my hands on these is through Archie Digests. Not to be confused with Archie Library stuff. That is just the modern uh, rehash of the stuff and off. It's it's actually very, very expensive. Um, the new stuff is. So I'm sticking with the old. But anyway, I think I got 56 of these bad boys. Something like that. And I got a pretty good deal on them. I think I paid like $30 uh, to get the entire set or pile that I have here. There's no set. Uh, they're just limitless amounts of these things. What are they doing in the... Okay. Some of them are a little rough. As this one, the cover seems to be a little bit loose on it. I'm just going to stack that right there. Um, a lot of these are double di digests. Some are not. Some are just the... Uh, the standards. Doubles were the ones that I always looked for because they were so much thicker. Yeah, we got some little Archie going on in here. Some vintage, vintage Archie. That stuff right there. That's the best. I love, 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 love that stuff. That's your, your late 50s, early 60s probably. I would guess just looking at the hairstyles and looking at the outfits, but that is my favorite era of Archie art and stuff like that. Some of their stuff from the sixties and seventies, uh, were fantastic as well, but I do prefer the, the older, the better. Mm, reprints fell very hard for the instructor. Archie's 75th anniversary. That's kind of cool. Since I was thinking, what was this other one? I was looking at uh 75th anniversary so you got 45th and 75th and oh what a change was made in the company in that time see that's definitely that looks 60s to me yeah yeah you don't get the uh you don't get the older stories in the modern books it seems because i had a huge stack of them and i didn't see anything that that looked maybe past 80s everything was so so new we got double digest number 15 betty and veronica 
I do probably love the Betty and Veronica's the most. Um, I think it highlights Dan DiCarlo's work the most. And I love the dynamic of those two. Archie, I, I don't know. I don't understand what anybody sees in Archie. He's kind of a two-timing jerk face. Yeah, you gotta love the the old style, the bikinis. Uh, say no to drugs. Yes, do that. I live in a state where marijuana is legal now, and I don't know. I'm I'm just gonna stick to the the 80s and 90s and say no to drugs. What the hell is happening to this? That is terrible. I don't even think that's physically possible, but I think he's dead. <laughs> Jughead Jones is there a number number 49 this would be the standard size so these are a little smaller I don't know if I know the the regular Archie Digest are reprints are the double digests reprints of the standard issues are they like third reprints I've never been quite sure either way I know that when you're looking for a deal in these uh, that is the way to go. These would have been originally $1.35. Looks like 1986 is when that Flintstone ad was. Yeah, it's hard to look. That's some really, really fine print. I see reprints from 88. 88, 88, 88. Hmm. Maybe it's doesn't have any older reprints. That's definitely 80s Archie. Yeah, I don't see any older Archie. I don't remember this weird tween version of Archie's. I remember like the Archie's kids and stuff like that. But I don't remember anything before that. Double Digest, uh, 45th anniversary, same year probably. That they were celebrating that. I see a lot of Katie Keene ads in these. Um, I do love Katie Keene. Um, and I even came across one of these is a Katie Keene. Not a double digest, but just a standard digest. Um, so I was very happy with that. I was also, I should, I, I should mention, I was very happy with the price. Um, these aren't perfect. These don't need to be perfect. I don't care if they're perfect. Um, Anytime you can get these for a buck or two, they're worth it. Anytime. Um, whether that's a double or a standard. Shoot, I'll give a buck or two for even the, uh, the, the new library stuff, even though I don't like it as much. Um, but definitely, definitely the older digests from the 90s, <clears throat> 80s. They're going to have all your classic reprints in them. They're going to have all of your different eras. Packed in. They're going to have a bunch of Super Duck. Super Duck. Anyway, they're going to have like a wide range of different things in them and different time periods of Archie Comics. And I really appreciate that. Betty. This has got to be 80s, Betty. This, that hair. Yep, um, I've seen some of these. I came. I used to have a whole bunch, and I came across them in a thrift store. And the guy sold me all of them, like I want to say for a dollar, dollar fifty a piece. And I walked away with um, a massive, massive pile of them, probably fifty or sixty, something like that. It was. I spent a pretty good chunk on them. Um, but they did get sold uh, during hard times, and they got missed. So uh, my Archie collection is, of course, not what it once was. And mostly, I'm just grabbing digests. I, I used to have a lot of the full-size issues. That's just something I can't or I don't see myself feasibly uh, reclaiming. But being able to grab some digests and read through those, I enjoy those quite a bit. Gives me all the same uh, same Archie vibe, just in a smaller version. Look at 
Look at those beautiful Hawaiian dishes. Double entendres. Archie was, I, I don't think I realized it maybe so much, but there is so many double entendres in Archie. Or puns, or whatever you want to call it. But the, uh, yeah, it's a double entendre. Let's see, Archie Comic Digest, uh, bikini cover, 60 cent cover, wow. That has gotta be a little bit older. Uh, the offer for this ad on the back expires in January 31st, 1978. So I'm guessing this is probably late 70s then. Uh, most offers don't last much over a year, if that, so this has gotta be 78. which means your odds of older reprints is going to be much, much higher. What is that, sir? That, what is that shirt, Archie? That's ridiculous. Creepy sea monkeys. Little Jinx. I was never the biggest fan of Little Jinx. Fill in the blanks. That doesn't look safe. Anyway, that might be one of the older ones I got. Oh, I got a Richie Rich. I didn't know there was any Richie Riches in here. Um, never been a big fan of Richie Rich. I I was a poor kid in the 80s. Why would I want to read about a rich kid? Feel bad about myself? No. Uh, Star Comics magazines. $1.50. That's pretty good. I wonder what they got from Star in here. When I think of Star Comics, I think of Thundercats. But I out thundercats are in here looks like we got some muppet babies that's an interesting thing mad balls which i was never into i thought they were kind of stupid heathcliff i used to watch the cartoon a lot but not so much the comic care bears let's see we got archie digest this is a 75 cent cover probably puts it up into the 80s I would guess yep no orders accepted after March 31st 1980 um, for being in 80s it's a little rough that's the thing with Archie comics in general you knew that they were gonna get read and with these kind of reprint comics that essentially had no collectible value um, this would not only would have got read this would have got tossed in your book bag and you would have carried this to camp uh, long road trips in the car. You didn't have a smartphone in your hands. You probably had a backpack full of these. And of course, you'd let your friends read them, and your friends don't know how to handle any books. They fold them around backwards while they take a dump with them. At least my friends did. If I ever loaned anything to my friends, uh, I had to make the specific uh, request, please don't read it while you're on the toilet. Because... Typically, that's what I would discover had been done. Uh, papers are predicting a food shortage. A food shortage. Dollar thirty-five. Not sure what year that puts this one. Probably somewhere in the nineties. You weren't. Uh, very few books were bringing more than a dollar in the eighties, except for your occasional. Uh, um, Really, really cool independent title. Jeez, Archie, you creep. He's such a creep. Such a horn dog. Katie Keen. There's quite a few issues that feature them in like caveman times, which I always thought was. Probably both really kind of odd and kind of neat at the same time. Didn't know how to use uh, uh, number 57, Archie Andrews. Archie, where are you? That's crazy. If you look at it and you think about it, how many times uh, they would have retold such similar stories and how many books they would have pulled these all out of 
and mix them all in into these little reprinted things. It's kind of crazy. Flintstones. I never liked the Flintstones. So as many books as Archie had, I've been kind of amazed to discover that Archie had quite a few different um, parody books written about it. Um, almost all of them were rather raunchy. Apparently, uh, the the taking of Archie and over-sexualizing it and reprinting it into a different uh, parody version was extremely popular. Let's, let's take these characters, uh, sexualizing them even more than they already are being sexualized, which it, sometimes in Archie comics is a frightening amount. And then uh, add drugs, add some alcohol, um, more adult situations, and uh, yeah, make a parody like that. This is oddly common. Wow, that is, that is classic stellar looking Betty. I don't know what year this looks like, but it doesn't look too old. I wouldn't say it's 70s, but it might be. What is going on here? That's Veronica? Huh. Yeah, I don't think they'd let you do that today. Just taking a mud bath. Wowza. Sometimes, sometimes what you find. So another thing that I thought was weird with Archie's um, is sometimes, as I mentioned, they, they have a lot of like over-sexualized spoofs and stuff like that. And what happens that's, that's strange is uh, sometimes you'll come across these and I'll be like, oh, that cannot be original Archie. That has to be altered or something. That's got to be Altered Archie. And I will find out that it's not Altered Archie. That was original Archie. And that's that's where the lines get blurry. Because I'm like, wait, that seemed really, really inappropriate uh, reference or joke to make. And yet, I'll find out, no, that's a legitimate Archie reference. I came across this when uh, I was looking at one of the... Archie comics recently from the 70s and I basically the girls had made uh, sand models of themselves at, on the beach and they were completely naked and anatomically correct all out of sand and I was like that's a real Archie image I was like I was I was pretty shocked uh, but I've, I've come across this a few times and so I don't really know what the diff what the deal is. Where Archie sometimes seems to be one of the most wholesome books of of American upbringing you can have, and then sometimes they slip in some like incredibly uh, incredibly sexualized, incredibly odd, incredibly inappropriate or creepy, uh, lustful type joke things. And I I so. I'm kind of torn on it because it's, 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 is it a wholesome book? No, not all the time. Most of the time it kind of is stuff like Little Archie and Little Jinx and stuff like that. You're going to be mostly finding, uh, just quality wholesome stories, but yeah, the occasional sometimes of, wow, that made it into an Archie. That's, that's a little different. We got Laugh. I don't remember where Laugh comes in the order of Archie releases. I know that Pep is uh, the book Archie would have first appeared in. Best looking thing on wheels. That's a matter of opinion, Reggie. Um, Dan and Jim DiCarlo. Jim DiCarlo. I'm less familiar with Jim DiCarlo. I'm very familiar with Dan DiCarlo. I don't recall uh, 
I want to call it Jim DiCarlo. So, uh, controversies aside on uh, some of the content, uh, one thing Archie Ma Comic Books does and Archie Little Digest and stuff like that that I, I still stand by that I, I greatly appreciate is they seem to have managed to remain what comics were supposed to be, uh, which is a fun, colorful medium that you can read, collect, uh, but not like over obsess on. So like, I, I don't know if they still do this, but I knew that even in the, the 90s during the big comic book uh, spectator market, people were buying Archie's just to read them. They weren't, they weren't, they still weren't regarded as highly collectible. These are going to be worth a fortune someday type books. And so people bought them to read. And so many cop and comics, people buy them to not read them. And Archie has always managed to be one of those comics that everybody buys to read. And so I appreciate that. One of the things about them that I appreciate. And you could tell, these are rough. Some of these, these are pretty crinkled. Uh, they've definitely been read. They've definitely been carried around, thrown in a backpack. Man, they were not kidding with this uh, Flintstone ads. They're all over everything. Another Betty and Veronica. And these are standard digests. These look much thicker than they did. Betty Bikini Fashion. Uh, Betty and Veronica pinups. Also, their use of the word pinup and their redefining of what it means sometimes, because sometimes you get like a Mr. Weatherby pinup or a Jughead pinup. It's really just a single page panel. Sometimes uh, drawn to accentuate uh, the pretty girls. Sometimes it's just drawn to tell a single joke. Yes, this is a big stack of these. Holy cow. Archie Comics Digest, the Christmas issue. Yeah, somebody had a heck of a collection throughout the years. And, you know, it makes me, it kind of makes me wish all the times that I saw these on like the newsstands while my mom was buying groceries, um, that I should have, I should have picked them up. I should have seen this. I should have seen like the timelessness of this book and appreciated it for what it was. But sadly, uh, through my teen years and everything like that, through my childhood, I barely read any Archie comics. I was interested in superheroes. I was interested in uh, the Age of Apocalypse and stuff like that, and I probably, I probably would have, would have done good to uh, read some Archies, appreciate a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit more uh, down to earth stories, earth characters, normal kids or relatively normal kids. I remember watching the show, but that was about it. Yeah. But how many comics could we say that about that we would have Gosh, I if if I only I had paid more attention, I would have I would have read that comic back in the day or I would have collected that or I should have bought that when it first came out and I didn't think of it or I was wasting my money on something else or uh, that is one thing the collector world is full of, is regrets. And I suppose one of my regrets, uh, amongst many, would just be uh, 225 for this book. I could have had it, stashed it. I could have had tons of these. But as it is, I guess I can go back and pick them up for not a whole lot. Big Ethel. I did point out recently they're ruining Big Ethel. Uh, they've made her uh, super attractive now, and it's completely stupid in regards to the character. Because he wants me home by midnight. 
I also kind of like this ad. I'm seeing it on all of them. And you're going to have Archie, Jughead, Betty Veronica. Then you're going to have double digest versions of all of them. You're going to have uh, Pep, possibly. I know you had laugh sets coming out. It makes me wonder how many of these digests were they cranking out a month? Like, what was their, what was their turnout rate? Because, I mean, it's, it's almost all reprint stuff. And that's fine. But, like, how, how many books, how many pages? Because they would have been putting these out at the same time they were still making and writing new stories. It just makes me wonder sometimes, uh, back in the 90s, what the, uh, at the peak of it, how much, how many books a month was Archie putting out? Like, it had to be a startling amount. So many of them. I'm going to get down to the last of this little stack. It looks like most of these are going to be from similar years. And I have not seen my Katie Keene one yet. I know it's in here. There. Standard Digest, Katie Keene. Same Flintstones ad. I see beautiful stuff from Katie Keene years. The older stuff. Um, she was always doing pinups. And I've been intrigued by... So many of the Katie Keene fashion pinups. And of course, people love the, the comparison comparison that uh, Katie Keene is essentially just Katy Perry. And you can go through and find all the exact same outfits. And I mean, she literally looks like you drew Katy Perry. But some of that stuff is fun and cool that they have that. Archie's car. And this is early. Is this early? Uh, Cheryl Blossom? Early Cheryl was uh, kind of nasty and amazing. Um, I think in the very first appearance of Cheryl Blossom, uh, she tries to take her top off and make it a nude beach. And Betty and Veronica talk her out of it. She calls them spoil sports. But, like, they actually have to physically restrain her top to hold it on because she's taking it off. Uh, that's one of those things when I first saw it, I was like, um, is that real? That can't be real. That's not really an Archie. That's like somebody altered it or changed the dialogue. Nope. Nope. That's totally real. All I can think now is that these are going to take forever to read. And I'm also kind of curious, like some of those classic first appearances that were like super frightening and like like the Cheryl uh, Blossom appearance. I wonder if they reprinted any of those. And if so, I wonder what issues they're in. Little Archie. Yeah, I was just never into Little Archie. I was never into any little versions of any characters. Uh, X-Babies, terrible. The infant Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was the worst episode. You should never make a... A pup named Scooby-Doo was bearable. That was it. Little Jinx. A few of the older, pana, or older uh, panels and stuff, but not too many. But the... There is still a few older things in there. That's pretty good. At least nobody left any cash in these. What's this last one? 75 cent cover. Stories and puzzles for everyone. Archie, Archie Andrews, where are you? Um, 1977. So this one's, this one's got some years on it. See some superhero Archie stuff in here. Ponytail Tail. 
chihuahuas. I gotta tell you, the stories on the older stuff look so much more interesting. Well, anyway, 1977. That is a huge stack, guys. I appreciate If you sat through this, you're amazing because my throat is killing me just from looking at the stupid things and talking about them. So, if you're into these, which if you sat through the whole video, you probably are. I appreciate that. Um, keep your eyes peeled on, on YouTube and or uh, eBay and stuff. You can still pick these up sometimes. And also, if you got thrift stores around, keep your eyes looking through like the books. Sometimes there'll just be a few in there and you can pick these up for 50 cents a piece. They are getting rarer. They're getting harder to find. And the new stuff doesn't even compare to the old stuff. So that's my take on them. I appreciate you guys with uh, going through these with me. Um, that's my story. I will catch you guys later. Bye.